It's all in the name of progress. We've heard the term much needed gardener repair work in the past and now we're going to hear it that much more. Right now you can see the traffic flow on the gardener is bad, but now it's going to get even worse in the weeks to come. The major artery to and from the downtown core is in the middle of a major overhaul, but any headaches involving the Gardner Expressway to date will soon become debilitating migraines at least until mid-2027. The section from Dufferin Street to Strawn Avenue will be reduced to two lanes in each direction starting as soon as late March, depending on the weather. The eastbound on-ramps near Jameson are also going to shut down during construction. Lane closures uh, will be detrimental to the flow of traffic. Um, the city's own data for downtown Toronto shows that since COVID-19, we have been progressively getting worse in traffic congestion. Work on the eastern portion of the Gardner finished in 2021. This second phase to the west of downtown is to also try and tackle the crumbling infrastructure below. In a statement, the city says the rehabilitation of this stretch is complex as the roadway is elevated, very narrow and busy. Drivers may not see workers along the Gardner during road closures as much of the work will be done from underneath. As a result, traffic will end up being diverted to Lakeshore Boulevard and will more than likely flow into Parkdale and King West. The city says traffic agents will be used and signal timing adjustments will be made. The TTC will be impacted as well. But what is not required is this excessive time we take in construction in, in Canada, especially in Ontario. We have to find better ways of getting the construction done sooner so that we don't shut the uh, pivotal critical links in our transportation network for months, weeks, but in our case now, years at a time. After 60 years of wear and tear, it's now construction day and night for a few more years. Work will primarily take place from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Monday to Saturday with some occasional work on Sundays and overnights as well. Rest assured, the city is already looking into its crystal ball. Construction will be paused during the 2026 FIFA World Cup. The gardener will flow again with no lane restrictions from May until the end of July that year. You may remember the new deal that was announced between Premier Ford and Mayor Chow back in the fall. That involved the uploading of the Gardner Expressway and the DVP. And that means the capital costs for maintenance and upkeep of the Gardner for both this project and many more in the years to come. Mark McAllister, City News.